want to I want to take a moment because typically when I have conversations like this, I like to start by asking, how are you doing? Right. Because granted, this is not a woe is me moment. This is not to reshine a light on everything that you have been through. But I think us as a community, it is our responsibility to make sure that we check on our people. Mm -hmm. And so from a standpoint of just being empathetic and caring about you, not only as the person who entertains all of us, but just as a person, how are you? How am I? I mean, probably like how every regular human feel, you know? Do I like people? No. Do I care about what you're going through? No. Do I care to help? No. But that's that's my mind. The spirit in me keeps me up, keeps me smiling, keeps me continuing to get out of my bed and come do stuff like this because I know where when 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 it's my turn, when it's my time, I want to be able to look the high power and and, and with, 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 with with grace and and saying that I was obedient, even when I didn't want to. You know, and it helps me to be a better person, because a lot of people just doing what they want to do, and you can tell you like, boy, ain't nothing stopping you. You have no discipline. You just gonna keep doing what you want to do. Say no more. Say no more. But the spirit guides you in a certain direction. Yeah, the flesh gonna get tempted. And yeah, you, you gotta understand, I'm from the hood, y'all. I'm from the street, y'all. I'm from the west side. All this shit that y'all seeing when y'all go outside, they meet, they my shit. No cap. They all me. But I can't get conformed to not wanting better for myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I understand what's going on outside, but it's like, you continuously to see people who don't want better for them, like for you, not for nobody else. What about for you? Do you want to wake up and you keep saying, I, I understand how you feel, but I'm telling you, it's not his obligation or her obligation to save you. You still ain't called his name. You still ain't asked God for direction. You still, you're going to stay right there. You see what I'm saying? So it's more so like, once you understand life, and understand you got to balance on things. You can't knock what happened to you in your life. You only got to adjust. You feel me? Because this shit will drive you crazy. This shit crazy. It's a lot. It's a lot, especially when you got to deal with it, and you got to deal with it for others, and everybody's watching you and trying to figure it out. And you like, I still don't know what the fuck going on. You see what I'm saying? But it's like, you got to always think about the good. That's what's, that's what's going to always keep you going. It's like, you know what? At least I made it through the day. I had food on my table. It, I, I may not be feeling good, but everybody around me smiling, shit, I, right, that good for me. You see what I'm saying? You got to keep yourself in, 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 in great energy, and you got to want to understand that there is a better. And once you understand that there is a better, you won't look at, what's going on or or the hurt or the pain because you're going to feel that regardless. That's why I don't, people who've been hurt understand hurt don't never go nowhere. It's a forever feel. So when a motherfucker wants you to break down that day, that already show me what side you playing for. You don't even know I'm a warrior for the high power. What you talking about? You want me to take out my shield, take out my armor, and fold? And there's a whole battlefield going on? Man, if you don't move out of the way, i weep later. But right now, we got to fight. And sometimes the fight feels good when, when victory is on your side. 